Hey, what's happening, guys? This is on host and big with Native Visions, and hey guys. we are bringing you the brand new snapshot, which is amazing. You guys have got to watch this whole video. There's so many awesome, awesome fucking things with this, uh, yes. with this new snapshot. Very obviously, awesome. yeah. The first one is going to be the emeralds. Um, that still look like rubies. But... Yeah, and they're green and they're pretty cool looking. There we go. Dropped a couple right there. And so far, I've seen that you can mine them with a um, the iron pick. an iron pickaxe. Yeah, I'm betting fortune will probably work on these as well. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's going to be great. So, yeah. Besides that, the next thing, obviously, you can see over here is that gravel is retextured. It looks pretty cool. Um, looks kind of like some diamond mail, diamond chain, whatever you want to call it, yeah. or it diamond in. plate blends in really good with the other stones we found. It does, yeah. It looks really good with uh looks really good with some other stuff. And you're probably wondering what the hell is that right there? Yeah. That's an ender chest. And very they nice, are pretty nice. cool. Uh so what we figured out pretty much is that they are I th we're pretty sure they're one per world. Uh what we mean by that is you store stuff in one of them and however far you go and place another ender chest down um, it'll have the same stuff in it. So as you can see, I'm taking items out uh, from the other chest. <clears throat> and the way you make this is you put an eye of ender in the crafting bench in the center and surround it with obsidian. And, and the sandstone stairs. Yep, beautiful sandstone stairs, Very sandstone pretty. tongue twister. Sandstone stairs, got it. Sandstone stairs, yep. And another thing, <laughs> another thing we've got is boats. Thank you to Dinnerbone. Well, now, uh, if I can get my boat to work, crush these lily pads instead of these icebergs wrecking your ship. So I think that's pretty cool. You collect a few of them on your way as well. Yeah, it's amazing. It's uh, it's a good addition. Now you might be wondering why we have the NPCs trapped in here. Now, if you right-click on an NPC, you get a trading window. So this guy, if you give him 36 rotten flesh, he'll give you an emerald. So it's a good way to get rid of all that rotten flesh from your monster spawners, and you get yeah. emeralds from it. But they don't just give you emeralds. This guy, he takes one emerald, gives you seven pork chops. So there's a cool little trading system going in now. And um, with this guy, we found he's a pretty tight guy. He wants two eyes of ender for one emerald. I'd rather yeah. give away rotten flesh, to be honest, but you know... We haven't really experimented a whole lot, but we're pretty sure there's all kinds of items that these guys sell. Oh, yes. And actually, another thing that this uh, snapshot offers is new golden apple recipes. And how you make them is golden blocks surrounded by an apple. And from what I can tell is they rapidly uh, will bring your hearts all the way to uh, maximum, and as well as your hunger. And another thing is that your... Uh, as you can see, if you push E after you have taken an apple, your regeneration has a number beside it. It's regeneration 4, and that lasts about 20 seconds from what I see. Also, there's a resistance uh, potion effect. It's got a little shield beside it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you've got fire resistance from eating that apple. So, yeah, they're really cool. And they, uh, both of those last for 5 minutes. Let's see. Oh. I'm sure we'll have plenty of... That is quick. Yeah, man, it's it's awesome. It's fucking really cool. But I th I think the best part about this snapshot is what you're about to see next. Oh yes. Check, Check that it bitch out. out. What the fuck is this? We just found this in the desert. We were looking for an NPC village because things have changed there as well. Hopefully, we're going to find one. Oh, yeah, from see. what from what we see on their picture is. Uh, NPC villages might be biome specific. We're not sure. We haven't checked yet. But as you can see, how elaborate this uh, kind of sandstone uh, pyramid is inside. It's got little. I, I, I what I think they are is little like sarcophagus rooms or what I don't know what you would call them. But they've also they got the wool on the ground, uh, so you can naturally find colored wool like this. And I I can't believe how how good of a job they've done on this seed and. Uh, I think it's. I think it's. A real, they've done a really good job. What do you think? Oh, definitely. Um, yeah. 
host absolutely started flipping out when he saw this. Yeah, I mean, I just, I was looking for a village, came across this, and I'm like, no fucking way. This is amazing. It is pretty cool. Like, uh, I'm definitely gonna have to make a base out of this in, uh, <laughs> yes. if, we do, if we do a new LP in 1.3, so. Alright guys, and as you can see, they've done a little bit with the world generation, and I think it looks amazing. It looks brilliant how, how well they've, they've captured, uh, you know, the hillsides and all that. So the extreme hills biomes are genius. You guys have got to check them out if you have downloaded the snapshot. And also, if you guys want to check your seed, I know it's been a little bit hard before, especially in multiplayer, you can type slash seed, and it will come up on your screen like so. Easy as that. Yep. So, from the native boys, we appreciate y'all joining us. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this. Adios.